from the Musanoi mine in the Katanga we have tiny blades of torbanite sitting on this matrix, quite typical to this deposit. Um, recently I offered a lot of torbanite with malachite, I don't see any malachite on this particular piece. Matrix pretty typical to the, the Musanoi mine uh, um, uh, uh, nasties or let's call them the torbanites and the uh, cuprous gladauskites etc. Um, on closer, as is pretty appealing, these are not at all photogenic, um, so under magnification you'll find quite a little bladed, uh, flat bladed crystals and uh, uh, let light right through. Size wise, uh, a little bit larger than a palm size, and please note that these specimens are meant for uh, 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 display, research, study, uh, not for crystal healing because they do contain a little bit of radioactivity not more than you'll find in your household appliances or in your vehicle but they are radioactive um, so you don't want to to uh, ingest and uh, touch them too often all the way from the famous old musanoi mine in the katanga torbanite sitting on a matrix little plates of torbanite so let's, from a display point of view, I would have it on a stand going around like this. Down like that. That section wouldn't be all that aesthetic. Maybe there's a little bit of yellowishness there, which could be the likes of uh, 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 uranophane or, or perhaps even cassolite. All the way from the Musanoi mine in the Katanga.